Good morning, folks. Today we're going over the forecast for the solar storm on its way to Earth. We'll see an interestingly located earthquake, look at a supernova in 3D, and then a solid study on how space weather impacts the ozone. But let's start with the last 24 hours on our star where we find a quieter day following the X3.3 solar flare we reported yesterday. We did see an M-class flare this morning, but it was impulsive, and no other significant CMEs have left our star. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calm. One filament erupted mildly on the north, but that was about it. Of course, however, the big story is the update after the big flare at the incoming sunspots. Yesterday morning, we called out the event and said it looked like it was wide enough to impact the Earth in the coming days. Both the NOAA and NASA Enlil spirals were updated, which we shared in last night's video. And while the models have some key differences, both have an Earth effect off the edge of the CME, likely to occur tomorrow, Saturday. We should expect only minor geomagnetic storm conditions with good auroral sightings mostly confined to higher latitudes. We're still watching those sunspots as the group coming in from the limb is numerous and well-sized. We'll be monitoring that today. Quick geophysical notes begin with Cyclone Danny and the cleanup beginning in eastern India. Over a million were evacuated as that storm approached. Trammy is still alive after hitting the Philippines and is now charging west towards Vietnam. Solid storm there. And lastly, folks, weird spot for an earthquake. Not big, not damaging, but definitely odd to see one like this in northern Canada. Up next, we're at Supernova 1181. It's known as the Dandelion, or Fireworks Nova, and now they have recreated its signature in 3D. It's one of the more symmetrical and unusual-looking Nova remnants in the galaxy. Link to that video is below. Lastly on the science front, excellent paper on how space weather impacts the ozone. Both known correlations are confirmed. Things that increase UV light tend to positively affect the ozone, while the particle flux destroys it. It's the main reason why every serious scientist who studies magnetic pole shifts on Earth, like the one ongoing now, says the weaker field is a danger for the ozone as more of those particles get through. Got a lot coming up at Observer Ranch before the end of the year. Two mini conferences, a kids event on Halloween, a warm event celebrating Thanksgiving, and our first special guest, Adrian D'Amico, author of the Type 5 and creator of the Suspect Sky channel, will be around December 14th to discuss the UAP and UFO phenomena. It will also be our pre-solstice event that day. Lots of good reasons to come see us, hoping to shake many of your hands. ObserverRanch.com we greatly appreciate your support. I've got minor surgery this morning, but I expect to be back in action first thing, so we'll probably do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.